G'day, it's Stephen Bella from exercises.com.au. Today we're gonna to show you how to do a dumbbell clean and jerk. Bella's gonna demonstrate for us. So basically what we're trying to do is get those dumbbells up to our shoulders and then over our head, okay? Setting up, first of all, we wanna have those dumbbells at the end of the toes. The hands are directly underneath the shoulders. The knees are tracking over the toes as well. The hips are below the shoulders. That's quite important, making sure you've got a nice setback so you're pulling your belly button and sternum apart. From there, pushing through the heels, the shoulders and hips come up at the same time. Once those dumbbells get to the knees and the shins are vertical, to fast hip drive and then dropping under to be able to catch those dumbbells. So notice that the dumbbells will come up, one end is sitting on her shoulders, the other end is tracking above her elbow. Also she's bent her knees and hips, her feet have come out to shoulder width. Okay, she's in a quite stable position. Standing up, then ready for the jerk part of it. So feet are underneath the hips, making sure the elbows are still up higher, the dumbbells are level. From there it's a dip, so the knees are coming forward, hips go straight down towards the heels, and then a drive and drop. Okay, so as she's dropped underneath it, the arms have locked out and the dumbbells are touching together. She's pushed her hips back, the knees are over the toes and standing up. So a couple of common faults that we see with this is when we set up, and that is in our setup position, having a rounded back. So she's got a quite rounded back there. We're not even gonna do a rep there or the other one is just muscling it. So that is just standing up, being quite slow, basically using the arms and then trying to press and push ourselves underneath those dumbbells, okay? Yes, you can get away with that, but there's only gonna be so much weight you can get up overhead. So this is about power, using your body to move around the weight. So also another common fault that we tend to see is trying to get underneath the uh, dumbbells by spreading the feet. So coming up and then as you can see, her feet have gone quite wide just to get underneath it. And then dip, drive, once again, the feet going quite wide again. You tend to see that same common mistake um, in both movements, because that's how your brain is thinking. How do I get under it quick? Move the feet out wide, okay? We need to make sure that we go into a partial squat in an athletic position. So one last good rep. And that's how you do a dumbbell clean and jerk. Search through exercises.com.au for more great videos and we'll see you next time.